नाउ वी कम टू सिंपल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वी अंडरस्टैंड रोटेशन में किस तरह की प्रॉब्लम्स होती है ध्यान दीजिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव यू अ प्रॉब्लम विच केम इन आई आई नाउ दिस वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम इन आई आई टी दिस एंगल वॉज गिवेन टू बी थीटा एंड देर इज अर विच इज रोलिंग डाउन दिस स्पियर इज रोलिंग डाउन ऑन दिस इंक्लाइन पेन द मास ऑफ दिस स्पियर इज एम एंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस स्पियर इज आर Now the question was find the friction force acting between this sphere and the inclined plane. Find the friction. बेटा ये square कहाँ दिख रहा है? Sphere. Sphere. Sir, the way this sphere is this square is smallest one. And one more thing, the moment of inertia of a solid sphere, I am already telling you, moment of inertia about any axis passing through its center is given by two by five. Mr square. I am telling you, moment of inertia of a solid sphere about any axis passing through its center of mass is given by two by five m r square. So you can use this. Sir, pure rolling हो रही है. Yeah, pure rolling हो रही है. The sphere is falling down, rolling purely or doing pure rolling. Find the friction force. When I say find the friction force, you have to find the magnitude and direction both. The five upon seven. Um, let me see if my aunt is right. My aunt is right or not? Let's see. Let me draw the free body diagram. Can anyone tell me what are the forces acting on it? Is the gravitational force acting on the sphere? Yes or no? Please reply yes or no. Yes, sir. It is acting in vertically downward direction, and there is a contact force, a normal reaction between the sphere and the wedge, and that will be acting along the common perpendicular. Common normal this direction. This normal reaction is acting on the wedge and due to the sphere, and the other normal reaction, this normal reaction is acting on the sphere due to the. Any other that? force? Any other force? Please tell me, Sarka. Sarka, which other force you can think of? Yes. Friction. Friction force. Can you tell me? Will it be kinetic friction, static friction, or rolling friction? Rolling friction. Please wait. No, 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 no. It is not that obvious. All of you, pay attention. It is not. Whenever there is rolling, rolling friction is acting, but rolling friction is negligible. It tends to zero. So, who actually that is not the friction force. The friction static force here. Yeah, major part of the friction force will be static friction force here, and not kinetic. Reason is it is doing pure rolling, and all of you know when there is pure rolling, the point of contact doesn't slip. and there is no slipping between the point of contact therefore the static friction force is also acting let me assume the static friction force which is acting on the sphere is in upward direction let that friction force be here can anyone tell me who exerted this friction force on the sphere the wedge so will this sphere exert an equal or opposite friction force on the wedge yes, yes sir so will they be equal and will they be opposite yes or no yes sir Is the diagram very clearly showing you the directions, and isn't it a better way of explaining? And I'll tell you. We got trapped. We got trapped. We got trapped. I'll take care. I'll take care of that part. वो मुझे थोड़ा बीच में draw करना चाहिए. Anyways, what I'm saying is, please pay attention that this is the black friction force which we have to find out. If static friction, there is one advantage. You don't need to worry. In case of static friction, we don't need to worry about the direction. We can assume any direction. We have to be just consistent with our equations, and if we write them properly, we'll get the right answer. If F comes out to be positive, then the directions that we have assumed are correct. If F comes out to be negative, what does that mean? The direction, the direction, direction is wrong. That we assumed, we the direction is opposite to that. Negative friction will mean opposite direction. In static friction, we can do that. Not in kinetic. Now, please pay attention. I will draw the free body diagram of this sphere separately and write the equations. So please see this. This is that wedge. This is that sphere, and I am going to mark all the forces. I want to study the motion of this sphere parallel to the plane and perpendicular to the plane. So I will resolve the forces. Please see in this diagram itself. Please pay attention. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is theta. Therefore, this angle is. 90 minus theta. If this is 90 minus theta, this angle is 90 minus theta. So this angle is theta. So mg will be resolved in this direction, and the component of mg, this direction will come out to be mg cos theta. And the component of mg in this direction, parallel to the plane, will be mg sine. Right? 
Now please tell me the normal reaction acting on this body will be N in this direction. Will friction force be equal to mu N? Yes or no? Will the friction force be equal to mu static into normal reaction? Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. Yes. But will mu static be equal to the maximum value or it will adjust itself anywhere between 0 to It will maximum? adjust. Sir. Yes. So I will not say, I will, if mu as maximum is given to me, you must have learned this in friction, then in case of static friction, friction force is not equal to the maximum value. It adjusts itself between anywhere between 0 and maximum value. So I will assume it to be F only. So let me draw the friction force is F. I will not say it is equal to mu N right now, where mu is the maximum static friction. Now these are the forces. The motion of this sphere is of two types. One is it is translating, the center of mass is translating in this direction and the acceleration, let it be ACM. Acceleration of the center of mass, let it be ACM. And there is an angular acceleration about the center of mass, let that angular acceleration be alpha C. Now, when we make a free body diagram and we write the equations, what is the acceleration perpendicular to the uh, wedge? What is the acceleration of the sphere in this direction? Zero. Zero. Right. So let me write down the equations in the two directions for translation. First equation will be parallel to the plane, it will be mg sine theta is minus theta into a minus, this is the equation parallel to the plane. Equation perpendicular to the plane will be mg cos theta minus n is equal to mass into acceleration perpendicular to the plane, this is zero. Now, let's write the rotational motion equation. Please pay attention. Torque about center of mass. Torque about torque this point. Will be, yes. All the forces which are passing through it. Normal reaction is passing through it. Mg sin theta is passing through it. Mg cos theta is passing through it. The torque due to all these forces is what? I also. No. The torque. Zero. 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 Yes, very good. Fall asleep, beta. I feel like everyone is asleep. So, torque due to all these forces is zero. Why? Because the 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 center center of the 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 all these forces are passing through the point about which we are trying to find the torque. So, the so torque the all these, so only one force is left due to which due to which the torque is non-zero, and that force is F. Yes. So, F into what is the perpendicular distance? Yes. The perpendicular distance is R. So, F into R is the torque. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. This force, this force is trying to rotate it about the center in this direction. Please see. So, this is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise we are choosing as positive. So, plus FR is equal to I alpha. Net torque is the, this is the only torque. So, this torque is equal to is equal to I alpha. So alpha we have assumed anti-clockwise only. We see here. So net torque is equal to I alpha. I is how much? Two by, by five, five m r square. Right. m r square into alpha. I'm dead. Now these are the three equations. Can anyone tell me how many unknowns do I have? Uh, one, two, three. I think four. No, actually four. Yeah, we need another equation which is uh, ACM is equal to alpha. ACM is equal to? Okay, alpha. I thought Surbhi said, Mujhe suna ACM is equal to alpha. R I couldn't hear. So I was about to get a heart attack. But I didn't know. So how do we get that? Let me specify that also. The condition of pure rolling, just one second it will take you. Just be attentive. Those who are attending this, learning this for the first time, please. The point of contact. Yes. These are the points of contact. Point 1, point 1 and point 2. Point 2 is on the wedge and point 1 is on the sphere. Now, point 1, the acceleration can be found by superimposition. We have learned that rigid body theorem. Can you tell me what will be the acceleration? Due to translation, it will be ACM in this direction. And due to rotation, it will be R alpha in this direction. So, R alpha in this direction and ACM in this direction. So, the net acceleration plane will be zero. ACM minus R alpha CM. This is the acceleration of point 1. And acceleration of point 2. Point 2 is a point on the wedge. 
So can anyone tell me what is the acceleration of this point 2 of the well parallel to the plane? And therefore we get the fourth equation ACM is equal to R alpha CM. Is everyone clear now? Sarkar, have you understood this? So these are the four equations and these are the four unknowns. In a 60 mark IIT J paper, it was a question of four marks. It's a very trivial question compared to the good questions in rotation. Let me give you another X IIT problem and let me see how many of you. Okay, so let's solve it. So I'll do the solving for you people for which you people will pay me for the hard work. Separately by by giving me your lunch boxes. Okay, sometimes that's our try to get to why. So let's solve. This method में तो यही आता है. और भी method है. अच्छा ठीक है सर कोई problem नहीं उसका भी वही आ रहा है. ठीक है कितना आया finally कितना आया? Two by seven mg centimeter. Two by seven mg centimeter. वो कह रहा है उसके जो formula याद है उसने आया था. Oh sorry sorry sorry. ये. This is the answer. Am I right? See how quickly I solve it mentally. नहीं नहीं अरे आई सॉल्व इट इंडिपेंडेंट ओके एनीवेज नाउ लेट्स मूव